Welcome everyone. So now we will be looking at anatomy and physiology of liver. So liver is the largest internal organ of the body. It has two types of blood supply and blood drainage. Hepatic artery supplies the blood and portal vein drains blood from the liver. So liver has basic unit of hepatic sinusoid which is hexagonal in shape and on its edges there are portal triad portal triad consists of portal vein bile duct and hepatic artery these three structures makes portal triad and hepatic plexus is the nerve supply to the liver and that hepatic plexus includes supply from the gallbladder from pancreas from hepatic duct and uh, these three structures combine and then forms uh, a, a, a structure which opens into ampulla of wet, uh, wetter and duodenum so in this way liver and uh, its anatomical histological structures are there another is gallbladder gallbladder when a stone is lodged here and then inflammation of gallbladder happens that condition is known as cholecystitis and Murphy's sign is positive in cholecystitis while there is a stone that term is known as cholelithiasis and the mnemonic for cholelithiasis is 5 F F is for female fertile fatty forty and fair so this is mnemonic 5 F for cholelithiasis the stone in the gallbladder biliary colic is right upper quadrant pain let's suppose this is the abdomen and there is right upper quadrant pain here felt because of biliary colic a febrile will patient will be a febrile wbc count will be elevated crp and lfts will be deranged deranged acute cholangitis inflammation and infection of common bile duct and then uh, fever will be there right upper quadrant pain will be there in the patient jaundice and there is um, all mental status will be altered and hypotension will be there in the patient so we perform blood culture and then mrcp and ercp for the taste and in this way we treat the patient with uh, supported treatment as well